Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Please subscribe. The button's down there. Can you see it? On your right. Right there. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Get comfortable in bed. Make sure everything is just right so that you can lay and be still and quiet. Sammy was sad. He was really sad because his nan had died. He was sat out back, leant against his favorite tree in the garden. He liked to just sit and lean his back against the tree and face away from the house. This way he felt like no one could see him. It was like his secret place to go. He went there all the time to think, to just be, to relax, to hide, whatever it was. This was his special place. On this particular day, he was sad. He was sad because he loved his nan very much. And even though she was super old and it was her time to go, it still didn't feel right to him. He felt like he'd lost her, like he was alone in some way. Sammy saw something move in the corner of his eye. It looked like a hummingbird. His mom had put hummingbird feeders in the garden last year, so he was used to seeing them on the back garden. But this one had the brightest green feathers. It looked like it was flying, just hovering, barely moving except for its wings that were going super, super fast. So fast that they looked like they weren't even moving at all. And then the hummingbird come closer to his face and just hovered right there in front of his face. He watched carefully and didn't move. It was so pretty and beautiful he didn't want to scare it away. Completely distracted by the hummingbird, he was absolutely fascinated. Its wings were going so fast. And even though it was moving so fast, its body was completely still. Like it wasn't moving in the air at all. It was just right there in front of his face, staring at him. It was close enough for him to stare back, to stare into the hummingbird's eyes. And as he did, he felt a connection. A connection that made him think of his grandma, his nan, straight away, as if she was there somehow, like as if this hummingbird, in some strange way, was trying to tell him that nan was there. He couldn't see her, he couldn't feel her, he just saw the hummingbird, but he had this gut feeling, like his intuition told him that this was his nan visiting him, wanting to talk to him maybe. He stared really intently into the hummingbird's eyes and as he did so, he felt like it was talking to him. Nan said, don't be sad my boy, no need to be sad. Sammy said, I'm sad because you're not here. Why did you have to leave? I wasn't ready for you to leave. The hummingbird said, We all have our time. Everything dies. But the wonderful thing about life is, we don't really die. We just change. We go from one form to the other. So yes, I'm not there with you, but look, I'm here now. I'm here talking to you right now. I couldn't do that if I was dead, dead. Sammy said, B, 
but you're not here. So how can you still be alive? The bird said, Well, it's kind of complicated. Do you trust me? Sammy definitely trusted his nan. He nodded. Everything has a cycle. A lifetime, a lifespan. The flowers come and go, animals come and go, and so do people. But there's a part of a person that never, ever dies. That part is called your spirit. Your spirit lives forever and ever. Your spirit is infinite. That means it never, ever dies. That's how I can talk to you. Yes, I've changed forms. Sometimes you might see me in a different way. You might feel me like the breeze rushing through the trees and all of a sudden you'll feel a breeze and you'll know it's me. Or you might see a feather on the ground and think of me. And guess what? That means it is me. I'm trying to let you know I'm still here. I'm still with you. Even though you can't see me the same, my spirit will always love you. So there's no need to feel sad. I'll try and come to you in many different ways. Sammy said, What if I don't know? What if you come to me and I don't know and I and I miss it and I, I don't realize that you're a bird or you're that rock or you're that breeze or you're that feather? What if? What if I just don't don't understand it or don't feel it? The bird said, Then that's okay. It's not the right time. But when it is the right time, you'll feel me. And you'll have no doubt that I'm right there with you. I'm loving you. I'm keeping you safe. And in our own way, we're still together. So in that sense, I didn't die, did I? I love you, Sammy. And I'm always here for you. The bird, all of a sudden, flew away. Sammy sat quietly for a few minutes. He wasn't sure what just happened. But it felt real and it felt right. And he felt better. Knowing that his nan was there, still with him, even though he couldn't see her, made him feel better. He didn't feel as sad. He said to himself, If you're still here, send me a sign. All of a sudden, the biggest gush of wind blew by, ruffled through his hair, the tree, the leaves. Sammy smiled. It's true. You're right there. You'll always be right there.